Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Joe here from Whoopercast, and today we're going to be looking at Raiju Salazzle. Yeah, this one's a pretty fun one. Um, I didn't want to do anything too serious for like the first um, deck analysis back on the channel in quite some time, but I also didn't want to do something too bad, and I thought that Raiju Salazzle was kind of a nice middle ground also because no one else is talking about it. You know, probably with good reason. But it, it, nobody else is talking about it. And I don't, I don't want this to sound like I'm making this out to be like a really bad deck. Because it isn't. It's surprisingly good. And it can hit some pretty amazing numbers. Um, and it can even recover from like a Parallel City. And immediately do another 220. Things like this that are just, you know, really good traits for a deck to have. And it's able to hit big numbers. It's able to be more consistent than a lot of other Raichu variants I've played. Uh, and it messes around with a lot of the new cards as well. And shows off some of their strengths. So... We're going to go through it, we're going to play a few games with it. Um, yeah, I'll just start by showing it off here. So, 4-4 four, four Raichu is our main attacker. Circle Circuit does 20 damage times the number of our bench Pokemon. With Skyfield, this becomes 160. With a Choice Band, this becomes 190. That's a big number to be hitting for DCE, considering you can be doing it from turn 2 onwards. Uh, free Retreat as well is fantastic. 90 HP means he's level ball searchable. Uh, lots of things to like about Raichu. It's just a pretty, you know, we, we've seen Raichu before. It's been around for God knows how long now. Uh, the Pikachu I'm using is the Quick Attack one. Like, Nuzzle is a decent enough attack. Um, the only argument is some people think... Where is he now? He's here somewhere. There's, there's like one other Pikachu you can use, which is, I think, probably better, if I'm being honest. The agility one, which is flip a coin of heads, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done next turn. It depends on which one you're more afraid of, like people getting out of status conditions with paralysis, or people getting out of... Uh, being able to like just lose on something else because what I don't like about this one is that like, if you use agility flip heads and then your opponent plays Lazan and brings up something on the bench they can still attack and get a KO and they probably want to do that on shamans anyway um, and if you're in this position you want to stop your opponent from attacking like if you're thinking about using a Pikachu to attack it you're probably not in a great position yourself so um, that's why I prefer the nuzzle one at least but you know come to your own conclusions on that one There's, it doesn't come up that often but it's worth thinking about at least so you need to run 4-4 four, four of these, it's a main attacker obviously but most people play this with Golbat because Golbat does 20 damage when you evolve into it but not me I'm <laughs> playing it with Salazzle now if you watch the set review and you got to the point where we talked about Salazzle you'll remember that Rory said at some point hey Right use Lazzle could be a thing. And I said, no, it couldn't. And he said, haha, no, you're probably right. And then after the show, I just thought of myself and I was like, but I like this idea more than I feasibly should. So I played around with it and I was like, hey, you know what? This is a decent enough deck and I think it's better than the bats, honestly. Even though it doesn't have free retreat, which is on, it's not as bad of a shortcoming as you think it would be. Uh, not being level ball searchable means you have to change the deck up a bit as well. But. It's worth it, because Hot Poison, when you evolve into Salazzle, means your opponent is now burned and poisoned. Uh, this is really good, because that's like 20 damage from burn and 10 damage from poison is an extra 30 damage on top of the 190 you can potentially already be doing. That ends up being 100 and... or 220 even. This is 230 if they don't retreat, another 250 if they don't retreat and flip tails on the burn. Um, yeah, there's a lot to like about Salazzle. And the other thing about it is... what was I going to say? That basically, you know, it's an extra 30 damage, and this helps a lot with Choice Band, because if you think, like, 6 bench Pokemon now is 120, plus Choice Band is 150, plus this is 180, that's pretty good, you've only got 6 bench Pokemon and you're doing that. Um, yeah, so no, I like that this deck has, like, options to be unpredictable with its damage, and that's always a very good thing, and there's not really anything that stops initial um, abilities like this, like Garbodor's around, but we have Field Blower for that, uh, which is great. Uh, Alolan Muk, I think, is going to start seeing more play than Garbodor. That obviously does not shut off Salazzle, which is great news for us. Uh, plenty of things like that. So, I don't, I, no one's playing, you know, comfy. So, we're fine with Hot Poison. Nothing's preventing it at the moment, uh, is what I'm trying to say here. Apart from Hex Maniac, but hey, you know, what can you do? So, Landed also has attack, an attack that we definitely have to talk about that's Venishok. So, if your opponent's po po active is poisoned, this attack does 40 more damage. This means that if you get your opponent's active po poisoned, and you use Venishock, you're doing 60 damage, plus Choice Band is 90 damage, plus the burn in the poison itself is 120 damage. Oh, I'm against uh, Decidueye, that's a KO. <laughs> no, that's, that's never going to happen. But you can one-hit KO a Decidueye with, with Salandit if, if it comes up. And you've somehow got a Choice Band down on your Salandit. Um, but yeah, that's very possible. You can do that with two bench Pokemon. 
it's nice for softening up things as well and then going into Raichu and finishing off with it. It means if you don't get a Raichu up, you can just bench just to land it and attack with this uh, and do a bit more damage than Sky Return could do, for sure. Tapu Lele is also another great attacker in the deck. We'll get to that in a second. But no, Venishok, don't sleep on it. You can uh, take Okos on things, especially if like Lorantha starts getting bigger as well and you don't necessarily want to commit to get all that damage up. Uh, Venishok's an option for you. Solgaleo, there's another thing you can hit. Probably other things. Um, but yeah, just bear it in mind. If your opponent's weak to fire, don't sleep on to land it. It's great against Vespaquin, actually. That's another thing, because you can Venice Shock for the KO without having to have, like, you know, oh, I don't need to circle circuit and fill my bench up to five, means I probably need to drop a Shaman, means that's really good for the Vespaquin player, but no, you can get around that by just Venice Shocking. And uh, catching them off guard like that. Three Shaman, even with Tapu Lele, you don't want to go lower than three. Uh, you need to keep drawing cards, and you need to find DCE, and Shaman does this, and Tapu Lele does not. Unless, if, especially if you've already played your supporter for the term, you can stick more and keep digging for DC with Shaman. You can stick more and keep digging for Skyfield. And, you know, th this is a deck that needs an awful lot of combo pieces every single turn, so you need to run a high counter Shaman. Uh, no 4, because I don't own 4. and But mostly because Tapu Lele exists, and I think it's better to have a 3-1 kind of thing going. Orangaroo is also really good, um, and arguably takes the place of the 4th Shaman, because... A lot of the time, after you do your Circle Circuit, if your opponent, like, counter stadiums or field blowers away the sky field, you're going to be getting rid of the Shamans. You don't want those on your board, because you want to be attacking with non-EXs and trying to force your opponent to take six prizes. Uh, so it's nice to leave something on your board that can still draw cards, whereas you're not, you're not like, stuck, you know what I mean? With Shaman, it's just sort of there, and it's, you know, it's adding to your damage, but it's also a liability, Orangaroo is not. And this two retreat cost is also great, because it means we can always just pay to retreat it if we need to. Tapu Lele, the only card I don't own in the deck, which I'm going to swap out now in a sec for, you know, it's not going to be as good, but we'll work with it for the purposes of the video. Um, Energy Drive is a great attack. With a Choice Band and Salazzle, you're also hitting pretty big numbers with it, so that's pretty nice to know. Uh, it is your main Glaceon counter more than anything else. You can hit for 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, uh, 130 with a Choice Band, and then 160 with the Salazzle, so... <laughs> but you're probably going to two-shot the Glaceon, let's be honest. Uh, Wonder Tag as well, obviously, Look, you, you know what Tapu Lele does. Uh, with teammates, this becomes really good. I think it also allows me to drop down to one count of Lazond, uh, things like this. So I, I'm going to swap out the Tapu Lele right now, though, just before I forget. Um, one thing you can put in is Tapu Coco. And Tapu Coco is interesting because it gets around Pseudo Widow, which could be a problem for us because Pseudo Widow limits our damage to four bench Pokemon, which means we now start needing to, like, Salazzle and have a full bench of four, and then we're like, throwing my phone away because people are messaging me. Ugh. And then you start being like, that's a bit of, you're wasting resources at that point, and I don't know, I don't like that too much. Uh, so it's nice to be able to, Tapu Coco can put 20 damage on the Sudowoto, and it can start damaging other things at the same time, and it's got free retreat, and that means that, you know, you're not wasting your turn trying to just get rid of the Sudowoto, if you know what I mean. You can save all your damage output for later on in the game. Uh, which I like, but we're not going to do that because that's not out on PTCGO yet, so uh, we're going for our third best option, which is Tauros. Because, I don't know, I had this in for a little bit anyway, because Horn Attack's nice um, and putting on pressure again with, you know, Salazzle and Choice Band, it's nice having something with incredibly unpredictable amount of damage output. Uh, would I play it in real? No, just play Tapu Lele, but for the purposes of this video, it's Tauros. We're also, we'll move on to supporters now, this should be the easiest. Um, we got one Lazond, one N, one teammates. All things I think I can get away with with Tapu Lele, oh dear. Um, four Sycamore is still unnecessary because, you know, you need to draw well. Um, yeah, so that's basically the supporter game. It's super thin because we want to go hard on the items because we have pretty long turns. Uh, this does make us weaker to Decidueye and by extension Garbodor, but I don't think that's as big a problem since we can pretty easily trade KOs with that thing anyway. Um, so yeah, that's basically how the deck works. The teammates is pretty good. I debate this a lot in decks like this because I think it's best in mirror matches. And like if I was against Vespaquin, now teammates gets really good. If I was against a mirror match, now teammates gets really good. But I can't not include something that grabs DCE in a deck that revolves around DCE. I, I don't know. This one's up for debate. This could be a second end because it's way better in the first turn of the game. Uh, I'll just leave that guy's up to you your own jurisdictions. And a second Lazonde would be nice because we're so good at killing shamans, but this becomes less important when your opponents start getting better and not playing shaman. Um, yeah, we'll just move on to the items now, I guess. 
4 Skyfield is necessary, obviously. We're doing basically no damage without it, so we need to find it as quickly as possible. Uh, it, it hampered, it, we're kind of hindered a lot in the early game if we don't find Skyfield immediately, so there we go. Uh, let's see, 4 Ultra Ball, 4 VS Seeker, you know your stuff. 3 Trainer's Mail. I think we need to run Trainer's Mail over Acrobike because... Finding Skyfield is so important, and finding our ball search cards is so important. And also finding Rescue Stretcher is really important. Choice Band, really important. All these things that are just like, we have a lot of item cards that I think are incredibly important to us. So, and it's more likely to get us a supporter in the early game, which means we'll have better first turns. Um, the only thing Trainers Mail can't grab is DC. But you can run... Go back to here. One of the new cards, actually, that I've been kind of considering putting in here. An Urgy Lotto, yes. Well done, Joe. You you know how to type. You know, we'll just go for Anna and we'll find it. No, we won't. I'm being lazy here. What do you mean no results are found? I'm bound to have one. Hey, there we go. Okay. I lost again. Yeah, I have three. Why didn't it show up? Oh, it's one T. Who puts one T in Lotto? Anyway, you get a look at the top seven cards here, deck. Uh, the reason I like this is because you can kind of trainer's mail for DCE now. Um, it's not even guaranteed, I know, and it's probably a bad idea, and I'm just looking for excuses to play the card, but if you're struggling to find DCE, this is now an option. I don't like it so too much, and I haven't found the space for it yet, but um, it's worth bearing in mind, at least. And I think it's a good sort of compromise, given that you kind of don't have the room for acro bike. What we got then? Three Rescue Stretcher is a really key part of the deck. So I initially had like three level ball, two Rescue Stretcher, but three Rescue Stretcher is just makes so much more sense. Um, the fact that you can put a Pokemon directly into your hand means that it's kind of a ball search card as well. It just searches your discard pile for a Pokemon. Uh, and this is really good because it does essentially the same thing as level ball after your opponent has taken one KO. So it means level ball is great and better in the early game, but after that point, Rescue Stretcher is brilliant at recovering from parallels and counter stadiums and stuff like that. It means if your opponent counters your stadium, you can just get rid of your Solanda and Salazzle and then Rescue Stretcher them back as and when you need to, even directly into your hand if you need to. The other really cool thing about it is if your opponent counters your stadium, you can get rid of a Shaman, play another stadium, and then Rescue Stretcher back the Shaman you got rid of and then draw more cards that way. Uh, and obviously the Shuffle 3 into your deck is also a great idea too, because we're probably going to lose quite a lot of Pokemon as the game progresses, and this really helps. Uh, it also means we're not as weak to our Ikario as we would be otherwise. I don't know if that matters, but there you go. Uh, we got one Field Blower. This is a new card. You all know what it does. I don't have this in for anything specific other than Field Blower is a great card, and Fury Belts, if that's still around, I would definitely like to not have it on my opponent's Pokemon, so... There you go. And also, it's another way to get... It's like we have five things that get rid of Parallel City now, so... I don't think there's any harm in including it. One Town Map I really like in these decks because, you know, it's such a combo-oriented deck. It means that if we prize a DCE, we want to know about it. If we prize a Salazzle, we want to know about it. Um, everything like that. Two Special Charge means we can sort of even get away with less switching cards because, A... If your opponent's Lizonding up a Rangaroo to stall, they're in a bad position anyway. But it means we can use our DCE to pay retreat on everything in the deck that isn't Tauros. Why are you here? Um, <laughs> but we do still have Flowstone, we do still have Escape Rope, so... Um, I think we, it, we've we got one Escape Rope, one Flowstone, and I think this is enough switching, because your opponent realistically isn't Lizonding up things to stall you. You're, they're playing against Raichu, that doesn't really happen. The only time that becomes an issue is if your opponent, if you start with something that isn't Pikachu because you can't evolve it and immediately a free retreat, and that's why we have two switching cards uh, as well. But the special charge means it's safe enough to pay for retreat on basically everything uh, if it comes up. So that is the deck. I guess we'll just call it there. I think that's really it for all. I talked about good on a bunch of other options I wanted to run. Uh, Ranger, I think, is very viable as well since we can pretty viably just Ranger um, if we get Chaos Wield and then pretty reliably take the one hit KO. But especially with um, Tapu Lele, it means Ranger becomes incredibly easy to find. Again, I'm going on about how Tapu Lele should be in the deck and it's not, but look, we'll work with it. Um, but yeah, I don't think Garatine is big enough to warrant that right now. But if it was, like, there, I think the option is incredibly viable. Um, Tapu Coco, by the way, just one other thing I want to point out, gives you an auto win against Gyarados. So there you go. Um, not that I think that's a necessarily a struggling a matchup you should struggle with, 
I mean, you can at least trade prizes with it fairly easily, so. Uh, anyway, let's hop onto the versus ladder for literally the first time since Guardians Rising was released for me. Oh boy. Where are we now? Spicy cheese. There we go. Let's go. I hear, hear Garbodor is basically every... Oh, dragon. Don't be Giratina. Please don't be Giratina. I mean, what else would it be? First video I record in ages, and this hap this has to happen. All right, well, we won the coin flip, so if we can just get like turn one KO Giratina, turn two KO Giratina, keep doing this. All right, that's an okay hand. Almost kind of want to start the Salazzle. Because if he's running Tauros and opens it, we're, like, screwed. Hmm. Wow, that pops up quickly. Alright, you know what? Screw it. We'll go Pikachu. If he is running Giratina, the only way we can win this is if we go play incredibly risky. So, sure. Why not? Oh my god, it's not. Okay, well... That might be a terrible idea, but we probably need the damage output, right? Sure. He's got to be running Giratina. There's, there's, I refuse to believe that you would play Kamawao GX and not run... Takes 10 less damage from attacks. Okay, well, that's worth knowing. Uh, and not run a Giratina. Eh, workable. Uh, I'm gonna hold this level ball. Um, I, like, what am I gonna get from it? I want to write you for next turn. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Okay. I've got Floatstone in hand for Tauros. Floatstone, of course, being less good than it normally is, thanks to uh, Field Blower now existing. All right, he's gonna get level ball out. He's got to be playing Giratina. I just don't see why you'd build this deck and be like, no, let's 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 pin all of our hopes on Como O O G X. That sounds like a great idea. I mean, I, you know, power to you, man. It does have the ability Bulletproof. Which is your favorite Bulletproof? Is it 50 cents, you know, like mid-2000s PS2 game? Or is it LaRue's debut hit single? Now, I... I think I'm just going to take the KO on this one. Because I don't want to obviously play Salazzle here. So I'm going to level ball for Raichu. And I may as well design up the one with the Dribble Dragon on it. And thank god I read what the ability does. So, we'll go here. I suppose I could Trainer's Mail just so I can instruct for one. I don't want to drop this, because I'm afraid of Field Blower now. Um, I'm less afraid of the Delinquent, though, because I think less people will be running it because Field Blower exists. So what we're going to take from prizes? I can take Sycamore, so I'm not worried about that. So we'll just do this. I'm going to play that. We'll fail it. Yeah, we'll fail it. Then I'll just instruct for one. Oh, well, I suppose there you go. Um, yeah, we'll just circle circuit. I don't really need to take Sycamore now, so I suppose I should take... Yeah, let's go for the DCE. I've got another Pichu on the bench. If I'm going to Sycamore anyway, like, Choice Band, Sycamore, really preying on this rare candy here. Oh, he doesn't get the rare candy. He does get the Hakama Wo. Um, I can Lazam that up and then evolve and, you know, 24, 60, 80. Okay. Alright, we will do that. We absolutely will do that. 20, 40, 60, 80. Um, yep, we'll evolve to Slazzle. Get the ability on. We're doing a bit of overkill here. Go away. I suppose I could horn attack for the KO here, but I don't really see the point. I'm just going to hold the DC. And we'll just circle circuit. 
Also, cool thing, he can't teammates because he died from the poison. We'll grab... Sicky Sicky. Right, you might have been a better call, but with three rescue stretcher, I'm not really afraid. Because again, it's like I have like I've got I know I've got I think one more Raichu in the deck. I've got one Raichu left in deck, but I've got three rescue stretcher. So that's like four Raichu left in deck. You need another Pokemon or you need that rare candy. It's just a hack on my wall. The thinnest of thin ice. Mickey, you better have a draw sporter right here. Oh, thank God. Alright, okay. Well, I'm not afraid of getting KO'd here. Hmm, I suppose I'll play Skyfield, Rescue Stretcher, the right shoe, attach DCE, and then a Rangaroo for two, and then I've got two targets for the Ultra Ball. He's gonna Rescue Stretcher his own. Uh, Jangmo. Jangmo. That's Hakamo, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he only has the headbutt off. Okay. Alright, excellent. That's super good. So now I can drop DCE, Rescue Stretcher, one right shoe, attach. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Does not... I mean, he might be running parallel. A fairy garden, actually. That makes a lot more sense. Do this. I could instruct for one and then, like, ultra ball it away. I'd rather not. I'm, I like my odds of hitting a basic here. There we go. I am going to ultra ball away. What we got here? One special charge down, so I probably can't get rid of that. Well, I'll get rid of this, and I'll get rid of, you know, I'll get rid of Field Lore, because I want another Salanded out, just in case uh, some crazy shit happens. So, that way I can just evolve to Salazzle immediately. And with the Shaman in the discard, my Rescue Stretchers now become draw cards, which is super good. So, we're going to Circle Circuit for the KO. And I suppose we will take Shaman. Skyfield might have been the better choice there. Just in case he counters, but, uh, whatever. He's gonna need, like, a godly turn to turn the tide of this game anyway, so. Yeah, there's the tomatoes. So, not the most competitive game for showing off Raichu Salazzle, but, it, look, the deck is functioning. This is what I like to be doing, so. And I got a KO with Hot Poison. I mean, what more do you want? He's finally got the combo whoa, 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 up. All right, Adamine's Iron Press takes thirty less damage. Oh Jesus! Okay, we're two shotting that for sure. To be discarded, we'll get rid of Tauros. Absolutely, get rid of Tauros. See, this is why I probably should have put up the uh, Skyfield. But on the other hand, like, have you seen the position I'm in? One, two, three. Like, I'm kind of content just to. So he takes 30 less damage, so he, I'm doing 70 right now. Imagine, what if he's running Fairy Drop, though? I'm kind of, like, alright to just not do anything here and just declare the attack. Because then he kills it, and then I can just go up with this and shame it into more cards. So, yeah, I'm going to just soften it up, like, why not? I don't want to get rid of the resources I got in my hand, so we'll, we'll leave it for now. Alright, fair enough. I'm still glad I didn't take more of those away. Alright, excellent. We got Shaman. Choice Band. That's going to be adding to our damage here. Alright, well, I can, I'm going to take the KO here.
Maybe I should have retreated there so I did he couldn't add a man sign press. Oh the top decks boys. Top decks boys. Shaman for five. What's he got? Let's say so he's effectively got a hundred and seventy HP remaining, two hundred HP. We need to do two hundred damage basically. We're doing twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, a hundred. Um 130, 150, I hate math, I've got a sycamore in here, don't I? I do indeed, okay, let's just go over this, I'm going to level ball first to land it, there is another salazzle in the deck, good. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 150, 180, 180. Sycamore, we need one more ba basic Pokemon to get a KO here. He's done it. He's done it. Special charge, I think I basically have to play right now, yeah. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 170, 200. This should be a KO. He's done it. That was actually amazing. Um, how many sky fields? It basically has to be Skyfield, right? Yeah. Nah, we'll take Salandit. Oh, I can take two. Oh, what am I? What am I on about? Of course, I'll take two. I thought it was like, oh, I'll take one. Uh, well done, me. Not too bad at all. Alright, so if he benches a ha um Oh, he's not going to bench it. Of course he's not going to bench it. Well, there's Shaman, and I have Escape Rope in hand. So, I think that's game, even if he parallels me. Oh. Yeah, we got Escape Rope in hand. We got this. We We got this. We got this. Fun game, though. Fun game, indeed. Thought well played. Circle circuit. Like, you can see the damage output potential. That was, that was a good enough game at showing off the deck, even though my opponent took, like, one prize. Uh, go on, we'll play one more. We'll, we'll play one more. We can't have such a great game and then not play one more. Go away, tokens. Okay, fighting and colorless. What's that, Lycanroc? If it's a disruption deck, it probably runs parallel, but Lycanroc might run uh, Brooklet Hill. Do I run any fighting types and water types? No, I would like to go first. A little annoying, because, you know, Raichu's weak to lightning. And this is a really shitty hand. <laughs> well, we got floats under retreat, I suppose, but uh, it's not ideal. Oh, God, it's Metacham Joyce Band. Metacham Joyce Band. Godspeed you, sir. Th this could really run through me if I'm not careful. That's funny. So I would like to draw a card. Oh, sick. I can Venishok, Venishok a Metatite for the KO. And I'm more likely to do... But I could also Sky Return and Evolve. 
Hmm. I like my Vanishok idea better, though. We'll do all this. And see, this is where three rescue stretcher is super nice. Play some cool decks tonight. We we're gonna play all these. Should I check what's prized? Like, first of all, Sam map in the deck. No, it is not. Okay, we got one rescue stretcher prize. We still got both of our things. Got all of our salazzles. Two more shamans. All the important stuff's here. Two DCE? Oh no, one DCE. Actually, we got, we got all our DCE. We're fine. Choice pan, we're not going to need too much. Skyfield, we might even not need that much. Look, all the important stuff's here. We're fine. Is Lazond in the deck? Yes. Cool. VS Seekers. Cool. Alright, that's fair enough. Oh, sh hmm. I haven't played PDCGO in like a month, so, you know, don't blame me for not clicking on Salazzle right there. I think I'm going to pass with it in the active. Like, I resist fighting. There's not much he can do to me right now. Yeah. Yeah, see, getting another Salazzle there is important for the Venice Shock thing. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. Well done, me. Sometimes I'm proud of myself. Yep, he does indeed run Brooklyn Hill. New card for anybody wondering. Super cool. Gonna let him set up very easily. It's gonna have to be a Sky Return Venice Jacques to get the KO on this thing. See, this is where Nuzzle's cool, or the other Pikachu is cool, because you can, like, take a KO. Nice. Because you can take a KO. Um... With agility, and basically like with like with Salazzle and Choice Band and stuff, you're hitting big numbers with agility, and then preventing the effect next turn. Uh, so he's clearly setting up this one. I wonder why he didn't attach this fighting. Maybe he's running Carbon, and he really wanted it in the bin. Okay, so where's this going? I can't really waste the DCE after last turn, so yeah, we're probably going to have to do the Venishock thing. Right here. Ultra Ball away these guys. Well, like a Taurus, but I just remembered it's weak to fighting, which is a terrible idea. So yeah, we'll use the Poison and Burn thing. And again, he can't teammates because it's going to die with the Poison and the Burn and not with anything else. So, with three of our Sycamore in the discard already, I'm going to take one of those. I can also play Brooklet Hill and fail it, which is... Well, I can, I can play it. I just can't search for anything. Because I don't have anything to search for. I'm going to go into the Salazzle as well, and that's actually not a bad idea for attaching that double colorless then. I think I'm going to Field Blower away his Brooklet Hill. See, this is tricky, though, because I also... How many VS Seeker have I gone through? Just the one? Ooh, I'm tempted to get rid of just two Trainer's Mail here. Special Charge gone through. None. All right, we'll get rid of Special Charge and a Trainer's Mail. We grab out Salandit, which I should have done last turn. We don't evolve this Raichu yet. We just hold that. I'm going to Field Blower away. Rooklet Hill. And I'm going to leave the choice pad on, almost. Ah, no, we'll get rid of it. Why not? And then we're going to Sky Return. Genius! Now, even if he ends me, I can retreat the Salazzle. All part of the plan. What an excellent first prize to take.
Yeah, like there's another choice, man. Like I didn't, it didn't matter. I just, I was wondering, like, oh, maybe I don't want him float stoning it or something like that. Weird. Uh, but you know, it's already niche stuff, and he's attacking with it, so float stone on it probably doesn't matter. And Yoga Kick is not affected by resistance or weakness, actually. And Calm Mind does not do any damage. <laughs> he had everything in hand anyway. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, the Brooklyn Hill for Reggie Rock is super cool. So what's he hitting now? Like 50? He's going to end me. Yoga Kick is hitting 50. With a strong energy. I could have done it anyway. With a strong energy, he's hitting... Seventy. Like he can knock out the Salazzle, but who cares? Like Okay, we gotta kill this thing like right now. This is an ultra ball for shame and if ever I've seen one. Yeah, it actually is interesting that he chose to Brooklyn Hill for the Reggie Rock when it was way more important for him to get another Meditai on the bench. Like, we get a KO here that's grand, because he's got no other energy on. Oh, gorgeous. I think I'm going to Ultra Ball way to drain his mails here. As absolutely ludicrous as that sounds, I'm going to Ultra Ball way to train his mails. Is the Floatstone that important? No, I'm going to Ultra Ball way Floatstone. And train his mail. Let me grab Shaman. I've still got 3 DC in the deck. We're all good. And teammates is in the discard, isn't it? Yep. Teammates in one VS Seeker. Cool. What we got? Alright. Alright, alright, alright. What do we need? We need full bench of five of... Yeah. We got this. Um, Can Medichat Tide kill me in one hit? Smack 20, doubled 40, Regirock 50. Oh, it can. Can it kill Salamdan in one hit? All these like incredibly tough decisions I'm being forced to make here. Because I might rescue Stretcher back a Salamdan. Because what's that? 60. He cannot 40, 50, 60. He'd probably be able to kill it in one hit. Alright, you know what? We're just going to circle circuit. We're just going to circle circuit. So, we're going to VS Seeker. And why bother trying to risk it? We're just going to teammates. I'm going to grab Salamdit in DCE. I think that's fine. Yeah. Now, I need to hit one benched Pokemon to get the KO, or I need to hit Salazzle, and it's more likely that I hit the one benched Pokemon. He's done it. Um, I will counter that. Three, four. I might rescue Stretcher to shuffle in. I'm gonna need the Shaman to draw up anyway. So I will shuffle in three, and we're gonna get back this, this, and that. Yeah. No, I suppose because I'll have two, two after this is gone. Show play him out. What we got in the prizes? No, nah, this this is fine. I think it's more important we get the right choose back. I will Shaman for three. I have to to get the kill. I'm not worried about him killing the Shamans like anytime soon. I'm gonna choice ban just to use it up. Although uh, I should have saved that for the ready rocks. Mm -hmm. Two DC in the discard yet? Nope. We'll hold that till next turn. Circle circuit. And what do I want here? I'm almost thinking rescue stretcher so I can pull back right you. I think this makes the most sense to me. Yeah, I can pull back Raichu or Salazzle if I need the damage output. Because uh, I can't pull back Raichu, actually. That's stupid. But I can pull back Salazzle. And that's important enough to me. 
I can pull back Raichu because he's going to kill this one. That's what I meant. Yeah, and he got the third Regirock anyway, so attacking with the Salandit for the KO wouldn't have worked. Although maybe he missed the strong energy. I think we're going to do another Sky Return Zalazzle. Which thrills me, honestly. And I can Sky Return into the Salazzle and he won't be able to kill it. Okay. Like, we're going to get end. So hopefully I still get to do this. But that would have been, like, sick. <gasps> Teammates. Excellent. Teammates really justifying itself in these games. So we get smacked for weakness. Alright, fair enough. I want DCE Salazzle. Yep. DCE Salazzle puts me in a great position. Not necessarily a great position, but a position where... Um, he won't take the KO next turn unless he has Lazond. I would really have liked to bounce that stadium. But I don't think there's any way for me to get all three of those things, so... Teammates for DCE. Salazzle. Come on, PTCGO. I got really worried for a second that I accidentally clicked no. Hey, it's figured it out. Okay, cool. I can finish shock for the KO, but that's stupid because we're going to Sky Return instead. <laughs> Broke the hill because why not? It's cool. I get to check my deck like every turn. And I think I'm going to take Skyfield. He's basically out of Meditites now. But I'm assuming he's going to have like Rescue Stretcher. So it's probably going to have to be Skyfield that I take here. Yeah, we'll just go with the Sky Return. Into Salazzle. And unless he has Lazond, he cannot take the KO. Um, I like this. And if he has Lazond, he has to go for Raichu, which means I can do the exact same combo next turn. Wait, why do I get to take two? This is the one I want, game. <laughs> okay, I guess I won't take Skyfield. <laughs> Alright then, you know, sure. <laughs> Did you see that? I clicked it and it just went yellow and... Um, Alright. Okay, he's not taking the KO. Sick. Unless he's got Shrine of Memories. And Lazond. Oh my god. And now getting rid of that flow zone was a bit annoying. But ultimately I don't mind. We're taking an even prize trade. He's got more EXs on the board. Like, watch him end me into escape rope. Ah, oh, he didn't. But that could be an escape rope. Oh, it very well could be. Are we going for the nuts here? Oh, we can't. Oh, escape rope's in the... Discard pile. Okay, well that makes things a lot more annoying because it means I need to do this. I think I put the DC on the Salazzle. Because if he Lazons up right you and kills it, I lose the DC. Whereas and then, then I can't retreat the next turn is what I'm getting at. Whereas this way, I can just prepare for like the most amazing turn next turn. Is he running parallel? Probably not. Is it safe to shame in here? Probably yeah, but he could end again. Hmm. No, we're just going to set ourselves up for like the most incredible next turn. Arangaroo, why aren't you a fighting type? That would help me out so much here. This gives him a turn to get back into it, which is annoying. But again, if we just keep prize trading, I win. So. Especially if next turn I kill this Regirock and I get. Yeah, 
Yeah, he is running Garbink. If next turn I kill this Regiwark and I get, like, uh, something into play. A Rangaroo into play. It means that he I'm end proof and I've taken it to a KO. Oh, but it's fine, though. See, not hitting his rescue stretchers. Still not a KO, that's hilarious. Okay. Alright, now we get to, we go for the nuts. We We He finds his one DCE. I'm such a good player. Now I can take the KO here, or I can Shaman for how many? I'd rather keep Shaman in the deck. And get another Pikachu into play, and then hopefully the game will let me take Skyfield. Yeah. I think I have to Sycamore here. Do I take a Rangaroo or Pikachu? Urgh. It basically has to be Pikachu, right? Because if he just drops Meditite, KO, like, I, I'm screwed. And we have to assume he's got a Rescue Stretcher somewhere, right? Yeah, it also Escape Rope proofs me. Let's go with this. Okay, we got Skyfield. How many Brooklyn Hills has he gone through? Two? Okay, well, he's gonna concede. Um, I think what I do there is I counter the Brooklyn Hill. I put a Choice Band on the bench, Pikachu, hope he doesn't feel blower just to run down the deck. Do I use my own Rescue Stretchers? Probably not, but I try and get a Rangaroo down at the very least. Um, I use my Rescue Stretchers if I can put six Basics back. Because <laughs> that's how I win the next turn, is I just kill a Regirock. And I think I set myself up well enough to do that with the whole combos I had going on. Uh, anyway, that's the deck. I won two games with it somehow. Uh, it's pretty fun. Work on the list yourselves. I think this is pretty streamlined. Like, this is as basic as the concept goes. Uh, we're gonna... Just remember, to take out the Tauros, put in the Tapu Lele. It's way better. Um, but yeah. This has been Joe for Webcast. I hope you enjoyed this crazy deck, which is a lot of fun to play. And I will see you next time.